many players in this region are learning is that uh, subscription is a very tough business still in this region. Uh, Arab audiences are not used to paying for content. Uh, piracy is um, piracy is rampant in this region, uh, as much so or more than I've seen it anywhere in the world. Um, the ability of consumers to afford even reasonably priced subscription um, offers is, uh, is limited. Uh, there's simply economic realities in North Africa and other parts of MENA that prevent large parts of the audience from being a part of the subscription ecosystem. And then the last problem is payments and, and billing. Um, uh, we are dealing with audiences that are underbanked or unbanked, uh, and we're dealing with real difficulties um, building relationships with telcos and banks and other payment partners to collect revenue from customers month after month after month. So subscription is uh, is still a challenging business model. We have high hopes that this will change in the next few years. We believe there are millions of uh, potential subscribers to be had across MENA. But as of right now, it's still a very tough uh, uh, place to get into uh, and really do well. When it comes to subscription, it all starts with a great offer. I think the the experience I've had at Hulu and others have had elsewhere is that if you construct an offer that is attractive, and by attractive I mean great content on a product that is easy and intuitive to use, that works reliably, and that is packaged and priced in a way that makes sense at a good value to cost relationship, uh, then you have a chance of convincing consumers. So part of the anti-piracy strategy here is to minimize the reasons why people pirate in the first place, right? If you give consumers a reason, if you give them an if you give consumers access to an offer that is attractive, where you can get great content at a fair price point, where you're not tied into subscription for 12 months or 24 months like in traditional pay TV, then you have a chance of convincing large numbers of consumers to actually come to you, even if piracy is available. Of course, there is uh, there are two other levers on piracy. One is to uh, one is to clearly take reactive measures and make sure that our content rights are enforced, uh, be that through takedowns or uh, cooperation with uh, social media platforms like YouTube and others. Um, and we are very active in that, but it's it's ultimately a game of whack-a-mole, right? Where pirates are uh, taking stuff down and then we put, they put it back up and we take it down and they put it back up. So it's a, it's a very challenging thing where we're trying to leverage as much uh, technology as we can to become efficient in enforcing our IP rights. And then there's the legislative effort. So NBC has been a leader in the region that has fought for the rights of IP owners. Uh, and we remain very engaged in that. We are one of the key leaders in the anti-piracy coalition in the region. Uh, and we continue to work with governments and legislators to make sure that uh, the legislative framework is set correctly and then enforced as well by the regulators. So uh, one of the most important paths to acquire subscribers in this region is by partnering with uh, uh, telco operators uh, and gaining access to their large numbers of paying customers. Um, so the reality is that most telcos in this region, the, the predominant use case, the largest number of users are prepaid customers who put uh, small amounts of money into their accounts on a monthly basis or weekly basis and basically pay as they go. Uh, relatively few consumers are postpaid customers, high value customers. Um, the ability to uh, work with these telcos is really, really important. The first level is by integrating our billing mechanism uh, through direct carrier billing called DCB. Uh, that basically means that our customers, as they go through the Shahid sign up process, can opt to uh, pay for their Shahid subscription by um, by using that telco account. And we are expanding our capabilities and the numbers of relationships with telcos across the region we have in place that enable that kind of billing integration. That's only the first level. The second level up from that is uh, deeper relationships with telcos, where we bundle our service with their service, whether that's a soft bundle or a hard bundle. Um, there's the ability to leverage their customer base to actually drive subscribers to our 
your service. Soft bundle meaning that um, if a subscriber wants to uh, come on board and take advantage of a special deal that the Delco may have with Shahid, they have the ability to do so. Hard bundle means for high value customers in particular that our service is automatically included in their monthly postpaid uh, subscription amount to the Telco.